Hey, welcome back to Act Two of the of my Ironclad Ascension Six run. Um, so previously in Act One, I uh, got to the final boss, picked up Reaper uh, as our end boss card. Um, we picked up Snekawai as our end boss relic, and uh, we have a demon form in Flame Flame Barrier. So um, going into Act Two, uh, I have a few priorities. I probably need to get rid of Anger because it's going to start clogging up my deck, uh, and I definitely need to get a replacement for Anger. I need some sort of damage card um, that doesn't cost zero. Um, I need maybe some more Exhaust, which would be great. I don't have uh, all I have right now is a True Grit and a Reaper, and I have two Feel No Paints. Um, which will get me a lot of block if I exhaust. So I'm looking for more exhaust. Um, and then we have no AoE, except for Reaper, which really you don't use as a massive damage card. You use it to heal back up. Uh, so looking for more AoE. Um, and then we have absolutely no cards that apply weak. And we have one card that apply vulnerable, so we need more of that. We have Snekawai, which is our card draw, um, but some more wouldn't hurt. Uh, and we have only three energy. Um, so maybe looking for something that can give us a bit more energy too. Okay, so um, you can now see uh, what Confused has done for us. So this is our Snack OI, we're Confused, um, so our cards are randomized. Uh, sorry, our, our, our the, the energy cost for the cards are randomized. So this is um, gonna be a bit, uh, a little bit tougher to get through um, at the start, especially when you have a bunch of strikes and defense, but it should get easier as we go on. I'm going to use Reaper at the start here, um, gets me a bit of heal and also does a bit of damage. Probably not going to be able to kill these guys, so Anger costing 2 there isn't great. Bash costing 0 is a great example of how Confused can be terrible and good. Got a 0 cost strike, which is lovely, um, but can't play any of these, which is not great, which is also no blocks, so it hits with us at full. Demon form for 0, it's nice, 2 blocks for 0. Um, I'm actually a, a cover for this as well. I keep talking about what the randomize is doing for us, but I'm not talking about how many cards we're drawing every turn, which is lovely. Um, you know, we, we would be to here, so we wouldn't get anger or feel no pain. Mm. Can we kill? We can. Great. Okay, so there's the anger, which we're going to absolutely stay away from. Um, Clash is just, it's just too tricky to play. Uh, it can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Um, it's also zero mana, which we want to avoid uh, massively. Twin Strike, um, we spoke about Twin Strike. It's just, it's just that it's kind of caught in the middle. Heavy Blade, uh, so yeah, it's just, it just doesn't do enough right now. And even with Strength Scaling, there are better Strength Scaling cards like Heavy Blade. Um, Heavy Blade tends to be a card that I wouldn't pick until the end of Act 2, maybe, beginning of Act 3, because you need to get strength up before you actually start using this card. But a few reasons why we're going to pick it now. We need something right now to to deal damage that isn't Anger and our strikes. Um, we have Demon Form and we have Inflame to give us our strength. Two different strength cards, so chance of us getting strength is high. And it's a two mana card, um, so it works well with Confusion. So we're going to pick it. Okay, so this is our map. Um, I, I think I sorry, I might have skipped the initial deciding of where to go, but we are going to um, I think go up this way. Let's have a look where the rests are. Quite like this, right? Um, we go up here, get to a campfire, go here, skip the super elite, go here, and then we hit another campfire there, and we can hit an elite here. Doesn't mean we have no shop. We can do, actually, yeah, we do. We can go the same if we go this way. Uh, I want to hit a shot because I want to get rid of anger. Okay, so what is good here? A few good things here. Um, we have 377 gold, which is quite nice. Master strategy, draw three cards and exhaust is very good, um, but it's zero mana, so I think we can't pick it. If, if I hadn't picked Snekawai and I picked the curse, uh, the key, curse key, which uh, in, in the previous relic choice, and we had four mana, uh, four uh, energy, and no card draw because we don't didn't have snack away. I would have absolutely picked this. It exhausts, which is lovely, and it also draws three cards for zero mana. Um, but I think we're okay for card draw now, and we're not going anywhere near because of zero uh, energy. 
card. Um, so in Chitisa, whenever you rest, get the starting next combat with two energy. That's okay. Um, Matroska is uh, nice as well. Uh, next to non-boss chests, you open contain two relics. can be very useful. Um, Orange Palace, whenever you play a power attack and skill at the same time, remove all your debuffs. That's also very nice. Um, and we have the card draw to, to do it, but we're also confused, so I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to do it consistently enough. So I might leave the relics. Uh, going to get rid of Anger. Upgraded, which is sad, but we have to do it. Um, uppercut is a nice uh, early damage card. It also applies it, it, one week, one vulnerable. Upgrades to two week, two vulnerable. Saves a 13 damage, I think. Um, but we're going to grab it because we... Uh, it's a two mana card, we don't do weak at all, and uh, getting more vulnerable is nice. Double tap uh, is can be very good, especially with heavy blade and with strength scaling. Um, you know, you use this and you hit heavy blade twice, and sometimes you can be doing something like something crazy, like 200 to 600 damage with two cards, which is insane. Um, but I don't think we need it right now. This is a good, this, say if I was coming up against the Act 3 boss, this is a shot before the Act 3 boss, I might pick this just to give us that little bit of an edge, but I don't think we need it right now. It's also one mana, which is something to consider. Um, combust is interesting. We are desperate for some AoE. Um, as you saw in the last fight, we just had nothing. There are some very scary fights on Act 2 um, that you need AoE for. So for example, um, the crow fight, the tree flying crows. Um, so I'm going to pick it. It's one mana, which is not great. It's also not anywhere near the best AoE cards that the Ironclad can get. But this is a really good example of, it's not a card I like, to be honest. I, I'll pick it, but I, I don't love it. But I know what my deck needs right now. It needs more AoE. So that's what I'm going to be picking. And... I'm going to go for a weak potion as well. This is mainly, uh, we, we only have Uppercut, which is our weak uh, card, and it only does one week right now until we upgrade it. One of the elites is called Book of Stabbing, which does a load of multi-attacks, and I'm uh, terrified of it right now. Also, it's very good for, there's a few other fights in this hall that do multi-attacks that we can be nice for. Okay, and that will be all. Oh, we also, oh, I completely forgot about this. We also have Wing Boots. Okay, that might change things. As we go, so you can see, I can go here, but I can also go here with wing boots, and I can only do it three times. So, so something to think about as we go forward. Hmm. A lot of damage coming over here, which is not great. Reaper heals for eight right now, which is, I think, good enough. Uh, I don't think we're going to get it again in the next by week. Mm, are we? My choice here is, do I leave it and get demon form to get a lot stronger um, and then play it when it comes back around again? But I'm just thinking, will I have enough time to play it? I think, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try just defend here. Oh, I need to be careful about this. Okay, just don't exhaust it. It's fine. Maybe I should have played it there. Yeah, that's a mistake. I might have. I forgot about that. So Reaper only heals the actual health that he has, not the block. So that was silly in my heart. That was a mistake. Okay. Um, right. Rupture is interesting. 
uh, whenever you use HP from a card game one strength, this is another form of strength scaling. So you remember back in Act One, I was talking about how you know there's just tons of different scaling that the Ironclad can get. It's it's not just say limit break, for example. R Rupture is another example of that. Um, but we already have strength scaling, so I don't need it. Second wind exhaust all non-attack cards get uh, five block for each card exhausted. This can be nice for um, obviously works well with the feeling the pains that we have, but. It's. I think it's just. It's just too gung ho right now. We need. We need exhaust to do more for for second wind to to pick. So for example, there's another card that deals damage every time you exhaust, or draws a card every time you exhaust, um, and we don't have any of them. So I just don't think uh, it's enough. Thunderclap um, becomes even less of a priority now because we already have AOE and combust and body slam. We just don't have enough block for body slam to be any good right now. So we're gonna skip all these cards. Another shop, that's really nice because we can card remove. Uh, is there anything else we want? Sword Boomerang. So this is one of the cards that I was struggling to uh, think of earlier on. Um, it's a, another scaling card, so deal 3 damage to a random enemy 3 times. Uh, is obviously crap when you first pick it up, it does 9 damage and it doesn't even uh, do 9 damage to the one target if there's multiple enemies. But obviously with strength scaling, it becomes a lot better. Um, this is a card that I would definitely pick up in Act 3. Just trying to, I, I just don't think right now it's, we already have Heavy Blade um, for this, for the, like what, what I'm thinking right now is, do I have enough immediate damage to get me through Act 2 and into Act 3? So Boomerang is really, really good once Demon Form ticks up a few times and you have Inflame. Um, but say if we draw it on turn 1, uh, we say if we have it any time where we don't have enough strength, like even 1 Inflame doesn't make it that great. Um, so it would deal 5 damage to a random enemy 3 times, so 15 damage, 15 damage is okay. And it's only 25, it does, if we pick it though, it does mean we don't get the card remove, uh, which is probably the thing that damns it. Um, I think I need to keep removing these cards. So yeah, I think we, I think we go with the card remove instead, it was close, it was close, but I think we need the card remove instead. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick this. Um, we get a relic. 50% become cursed. So, obviously, if we don't get cursed, brilliant. We get a free relic. If we do become cursed, one writhe is an ace. So, we draw it on the opening turn. Um, we already have Sneko Eye. So, we're, Sneko Eye just me makes it mean that we draw one card extra on the opening turn rather than two cards extra. And we also have... Um, blue candle which means we can play it and we lose one hp but we exhaust it um so we can either play it at the, on the first turn and just get rid of it or we can wait until we have both feel no pains up and then ride becomes deal one damage to yourself block, but block for six um so i'm going to take it and we do get ride and we get a bird face turn so whenever you play a power card heal two hp so even more now uh, going towards our mitigation in terms of healing rather than blocking so that's quite nice we now have bird face turn we have burning blood and we have our reaper all which will heal us which is very nice uh okay i think we smith here i think uh, there's a few cards we need to upgrade uh uppercut might be a big one True Grit, I think, is probably the one we need to go. We need more damage for sure, but True Grit, uh, being able to exhaust a specific card is getting more and more important because we're trimming down our strikes and our defense and we don't want to exhaust these cards. Okay, so Demon Form for one is quite nice. Uh, we're going to feel no pain. We're going to defend and then we're going to play this and block for an extra three and do we use our weak potion here is the question do you know what i should have played flame barrier that was a mistake flame barrier would have dealt four damage every time they're attacking and he's attacking six times and he's attacking twice flame barrier maybe was to play i get more block from it too didn't get demon wouldn't have got demon form up yeah it's it's hard to hard to judge um okay let me just take these I 
think we want to get the bird out of the way first. Okay, neither of, us, neither of them are attacking, which is great. We have a Reaper that heals us for 20, which is brilliant. I'm going to use that now. Actually, no, it won't heal us for 20 because it won't do 10 to him. It'll do heal us for 15, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to play Combust here. It's going to heal us for 2. Um, obviously, it'll deal damage to us, but it will um, it'll kill off the bird and it'll do a bit more damage to the, cult, the Chosen, rather. 18 damage coming our way, we're going to weaken them, 12 damage, block it with here. So another thing the Chosen does is he casts um, Hex on us, um, so whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one daze into your draw pile. So again, similar to the sentries, Feel No Pain becomes a lot better here because the dazes are actually blocking us, blocking for three for us. So our strength now is high enough to kill. Okay, Sugar Off is the definite pick here. Um, gives us a bit more uh, block, which is great, and it draws one more, one more card. All we have right now is Snack White to draw his cards, so Sugar Off is a good pick. Okay, upgrade. Um, Feeling the Pains could be nice. Right now, we have enough strength uh, to get us through Act 2. Um, this is, I guess... It's kind of, it's a gut feeling, all these kind of calls. But basically, our strength scaling now is very good for Act 2. Um, you could kind of see it there towards the end of that bird chosen fight. We were doing a lot of damage. Um, so what we need to do now, I think, is two things. Um, we need to be able to deal some amount of damage before we start scaling to maybe kill something off quick, for example. Um, and the second thing we need to do is be able to block um, until we get that scaling up so that's both in our card choices and in our upgrade choices so i think we want to go for so, so what's that do that rules a few things out. it rules out heavy blade right because heavy blade um just upgrades into effects this card five times so it doesn't do anything it doesn't block for us obviously and it doesn't deal more damage before we get our strength scaling so rules out heavy blade um Kind of rules out Feel No Pain, because Feel No Pain, um, it does give us a bit more block, but again, it's 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 we need to get our deck up and running before we get that block. It doesn't help us on turn one when an enemy is hitting us for like 28 damage and you know we have a bunch of Feel No Pains and a Heavy Blade. That's not going to help us. What is going to help us with that is Flame Barrier. Uh, it gives us 16 block instead of 12, and it'll uh, give us six damage back, which is quite nice. It, this is really good against the birds, so if we come up against another bird again, very nice. Very good against Book of Stabbing, which is an elite on this floor. Uh, very nice. All these kind of multi-hitters. So, yeah. It's gonna, I don't, it, it, it won't change my choice, but um, it's gonna, yeah, against the champ. We have demon form against the champ, so it's instant win, basically. You, the champ is, um, he's basically, he is the ultimate Act 2 boss that says, hey, how's your scaling? Because if it's not good enough, you, you're not you're not going to get to Act 3, basically. Um, because he starts, he scales. And he does way more damage in the second phase of his fight um, than in the first phase. And the first phase is basically allowing you to set up your scaling. So you can just, uh, just burst through him in the second phase. Okay, the Courier. Um, merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions. All price reduced by 20%. It's quite nice. So we're going to go to this thing here and so you can see i haven't rested yet but my hit points are going up um and that's because burning blood bird face urn and reaper are really helping with this so i'm just able to smith here and smithing i think i'm going to go with uppercut so weak and vulnerable so again thinking about um what does my deck need it needs things to be able to be done immediately and uh, mitigation block, uh, weak, all that kind of stuff to be done immediately. And so this applying to weak instead of one week is a nice form of mitigation. Okay, so now I am really, really happy that I picked Combust because this is an AoE elite fight and I had no AoE, but I have Combust. Okay, so not gonna play Ride here. Um, I'm going to leave it until I have at least one feel no pain up, so I get a bit of block before I'm playing it. Oh, 
Okay, um, big multi hit here. This is what I bought the weak potion for in case I came up against an elite that does a big multi attack. Um, so I'm gonna get demon from up. You're gonna, this is this is really nice. This is just one of those turns. You'll get the other turn where everything will cost zero, uh, three, but sometimes Snack Wild will give you a turn where you get this. Where everything is free and it's lovely. And one, wow, okay. That's that's really good. Um, okay, so the question is, do I, do I kill off these guys? I think I do. I definitely want to get some weak on him, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uppercut the Gremlin Leader, so he's only doing 21 damage. Um, don't think I need to block here. I need to get these guys down to five, so I can bustle kill them. I think I could block here, but I'm okay with taking this damage. I'm just going to play ride now, uh, just to stop it getting the draw. I don't think I need the block that it would have gotten me. Okay, I was kind of fishing there for another card to hurt him. Um, but I didn't get it. So now he's going to do a big multi-hit again. And I'm hoping I can kill him. So Reaper's nice. Reaper's doing 9 damage to all, so it's going to heal me quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to... Can I kill here? 15, 19... It's close. I need to do mats. I hate mats. Okay, so I'm doing... Yeah, I think that's a, that's that's a kill. Yes, yeah, completely kill. Okay, so now you can see the um, our deck now has a identity. I think. Um, so, what is our deck's identity at this point? And I think towards the end of Act Two, uh, having an identity for a deck is quite nice. And um, you need to be kind of thinking about how do I win this game. So, uh, in the in the last run I did. Uh, it was around this time where our deck got an identity and it's kind of nice contrast because in the last run our deck got an identity through an event. We got a, the book of Nya I think it was or whatever it's called um, and we had a corruption and that was our identity basically. We play corruption, the book uh, keeps giving us skills to exhaust and we just keep picking skills and our card picks so we had enough ammunition for corruption to get us through. Um, and then we had on the other side, I think we had limit break. At the, we got limit break at the very end, uh, but before that we had a little bit of strength to get us through. So what is our uh, identity this time? Well, identity is it's a much more simple scaling based deck. Um, we have a very early demon form. We have uh, an inflame. That gives us uh, the ammunition for cards like heavy blade um, to kind of push through and we have enough at the start to uh, to block. And then I think what makes this deck unique on the other side as well is our mitigation, a lot of it comes from healing. So you can see, I think, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure we went down to like 20 something hit points earlier in this act. And a few floors later, without resting, we're up to 69 HP, uh, nice. So what do I want here? Well, um, Warcry looks quite good. Uh, card draw is getting better. Um, we have a uh, two. We have a snack away. We have two sugar dots. But Warcry would draw two more cards and put a hand on the top of your pile and exhaust. So it gives us that exhaust. Unfortunately, it's zero mana. So, how badly do we need the card draw? Well, if I look through my deck, I would say not that badly. Um, we have a card draw here. I thought we had two sugar offs, am I wrong? Oh, we just would run sugar off. Okay, so we have one sugar off and we have Snack Away. That's probably enough. It's not It's not amazing. Honestly, I would take more. And if I didn't have Snack Away and the zero mana cost wasn't uh, punishing, I would definitely pick Work right here. Uh, but it is punishing. Um, Rage. Terrible card right now because we're not actually playing that many attacks. Um, and it's zero mana. Blood for Blood. 
this actually is decent. Um, it's four mana, so corruption. Or sorry, confused is very good for it until we get hit. It does eighteen damage, um, which is okay right now, uh, and it doesn't scale properly. Really, um, you know, the strength scaling just increases um, the. Yeah, you know, just linearly basically because there's no times anything um but if you remember <laughs> like 20 minutes ago or whatever it is now i was saying what what are we kind of looking for we're looking for things that do something now so stuff that mitigates now and stuff that actually damages now before we get our deck up and running and blood for blood do, does this if we draw blood for blood in turn one it'll cost less than four probably cost one or two and we'll be doing 18 damage with it upgrades do you know i actually don't remember what it upgrades into um Upgrades into 22 damage, okay, and it drops the mana, um, which means nothing to us, but 22 damage, and we could be playing this for zero mana, which would be amazing, or one or two, um, and yeah, that is no good for us towards the end of Act 3, we probably won't need it, uh, certainly won't be any good to us in the Act 3 boss, but right now it's actually quite useful, It's actually, and it's useless for us against the Act 2 boss, the champ, not really useful, but I think this could be quite useful in a few of our hallway fights, because we need a bit of oomph now before we get our strength getting up so that's why i'm picking this card okay i think we're doing pretty well here so i think we can hit another elite book stabbing and we kept our weak potion which is great okay this is a, a good example of um confused being a bit of a bastard um all these one mana cards costing three two mana cards costing three so yeah not great um hmm Gonna apply a week here. I'm doing ten. And mm. Yeah, I think we just take ten. We have Reaper. The inform for zero, take that. Flame barrier for zero, take that. This didn't go down at all, which is unfortunate, but so, Flame Barrier, very good against Book Stabbing, multi-attacks, it's going to hit him for 6 every time, which is lovely. Not going to play Reaper, because I think we can get better Reaper. It's absolutely fine, we're wrapping up right now, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, okay, this is a little bit painful. Um, twenty damage. Hmm. Okay, I think we take it. I just killed him. I might have just killed him. Damn it. That was silly. Uh, that's silly because yeah, we were building up with a big reaper and we've messed that up. Yeah, that was a mistake. That's okay though. We didn't lose too much health. Uh, okay, so getting to the point where this might be useful. Double tap. Um, but I think we're going to go with Sword Boomerang instead. Um, so yeah it's one mana which isn't great but our strength scaling is uh it's going to be more important going into act three and certainly against the champ it's going to be very important so this could be a very important card against the champ uh double tap i just don't have enough um big attacks i have uppercut i guess i have blood for blood and i have uh heavy blade and bash maybe double tap i'm gonna go for sword boomerang i think it's close but i think this is going to be more useful then double tap. Emokinesis, for example, uh, uh, just out of interest, is a really good uh, early card. It's one of those cards that like looks terrible and is terrible towards the end of the game. But dealing eight damage in Act One is really, really useful. Yeah, you lose two HP, which actually can be a good time, a good thing in certain uh, builds, certain kind of uh, synergies. But dealing eight damage at the start is really, really nice. But we don't need that right now. So I'm gonna go Sober. 
and we're going to start upgrading things. Uh, I'm going to start upgrading demon form. Our strength scaling is starting to get a bit important now, and gaining tree strength every turn is quite nice. I think we can afford to just play demon form here. Alright, big hits. Oh, I should have played Heavy Brother. So bring with zero. It's quite nice. Full health. That is not bad. Okay, disarm is the pick here. Um, disarm is really, really good mitigation. Um, very useful for uh, any enemies that use multi attack. They lose three strength, uh, which will massively hamper their multi attack. Um, so yeah, easy pick. And going in here, we're on full health, so we don't need to sleep. Um, I think heavy blade. Uh, we're going into the champ, which is going to require scaling. Heavy blade. We, we've already beaten the champ. Um, to be honest, but Heavy Blade is going to make sure we beat him. Okay, Bash for free. So our Boomerang for free is nice. Um, I'm going to just True Grid out the Rise, I think, just so we don't lose the HP. Um, yeah, it's not a bad turn. Okay, uh, uppercut means we can't block, but I want to get the weak and the vulnerable on them. So we need to get demon form out. Um, there we go, one mana, take that. Uh, gonna play Combust as well, just uh, five every turn, it's nice. And then we need to block. Okay, so go heavy blade here. We just just keep hitting them. To be honest, um, I'm gonna trigger out of defend. Just don't want don't want defense. I want strikes. I want my good cards. So boomerang, very good. Uh, so it's in sixteen this turn. So I think yeah, no harm blocking a little bit. Okay, uh, I want to uppercut, I want to put weak back on him, and vulnerable. Now we need to block a little bit. Okay, so now here comes this power phase, and this is why strength getting is so important. We're at 14 strength right now, so we have set up, set up and we are not going to spend too long in his, um, in his power phase. So here comes a big hit. So you saw how important Sword Boomerang was there. Um, that strength scaling is just really crucial. You can, um, the, the strategy for him is basically when he hits that half health and he does that power up, um, you get a free attack on him and then he'll hit you with a massive multi attack. So if you can, the idea is to basically then kill him before he gets that multi attack off. You can survive the multi-attack, um, but I'm just trying to think of my speed potion here. I'm gonna get rid of Gambler's Blue. Um, but hitting, killing him uh, before he gets that big turn off is is great, and that's why basically when you get Demon Form, it's just an instant win against the champ because you at that you, you know you get it out early, and um, by the time he hits that phase, you just should have enough strength to kill him. Okay, so next pick. Reaper, two Reapers is okay, um, but I don't think we need it. Um, we have enough strength scaling to make the one Reaper we have pretty good. Um, and you can saw we, we had no problem getting through the second act in terms of healing. 
Um, bludgeon, don't need it at all. I, I never really know what to make a bludgeon. It, it, to be honest, this is almost as good as bludgeon can get. It's in a snack of white deck, uh, which will um, decrease its mana cost, upgrades, I think, to 42 damage. If we had, say, something like uh, Double Tap, which is the card that makes the next card hit twice, uh, that I rejected twice, Bludgeon would be even better. Um, so, yeah, obviously Berserk, I'm not picking. Uh, I don't need another... Uh, I mean, Energy's not too bad, to be honest. It, it, actually, you know what? This is another... This is probably a time where, like Bludgeon, Berserk gets very good. There's just a lot of things going for Berserk. Uh, energy is quite nice. We're still only on three Energy. I'm hoping the next Relic will be an Energy Relic, but it mightn't be. Um, the vulnerable isn't great, but it's also a bird face turn. Um, so, uh, actually, no, do you know what? It's it's zero mana, so snack wise, it, it instantly cancels it. But if a few things are going for it, bird face turn would mean you heal twice as well. But aim to pick here. So, I think this should be pretty common. Uh, oh, sorry, common sense. I think uh, if you've been listening to what I've been saying, in terms of uh, what we're looking for now in a deck. Um, when I look at my deck, in act, at the, towards the end, at the end of Act 2, you should kind of know uh, really how you're going to win the game at this point. And how I'm going to win the game is I'm going to play Demon Form. Uh, I'm going to be at full health because I have Reaper. Uh, I have a decent amount of black cards. Um, the Field of Bane's are going to help me with that. And I have Snack Away, which means I'm going to keep drawing a lot of cards and I'm going to be able to play a few of them cheaply. Um, what I don't have, however, is AoE damage. And in the Act 3 especially, I'm going to come up against very strong AoE fights. Com Compost definitely helped, um, especially in the Gremlin Leader fight. I think it was really useful. Um, but it's, it's just not good enough, uh, especially in the Act 3 fights. It just doesn't do enough damage. Immolate is just brilliant. It's an instant uh, kill for a lot of the AoE fights, especially there's a, um, an Elise called Reptomancer in Act 3. And she's a, she is the champ of checking if is your AoE good enough. Because if it's not good enough, she'll kill you. Uh, so Immolate is the picker. And we look at relics. Okay, um, interesting. This is interesting. Uh, so we have one energy relic in Velvet Joker. We have Orrery, uh, which is pick up, choose, and add five cards to your deck. And we have Lizard Tail. Whenever you die, heal to 50% of your max HP. Works once. Um, I never really pick Lizard Tail ever. I, I like decks to just beat the thing. Um, so I don't tend to pick it. Ori is interesting. Um, I think our deck is set up to win now, uh, to beat the Act 3 boss, whoever it is. Uh, and it definitely maybe could use a few other things. Um, it could use a maybe a little bit more um, damage cards, a little bit more card draw. Um, uh, but like, yeah, it's not that important. Velvet Choker, I'm just trying to think. So I have a lot of... Uh, high cost cards in my deck now because I'm picking because I have snack away so emulate up course blood for blood heavy blade demon form flame bar bash reaper da, da, da. big cards that tends to mean that you won't play six of them in a turn uh, so I think velvet choker is the pick here and um, this is another one that Cindy mentioned in his video that I think this is the relic he's talking about velvet choker is uh, you never pick it if you say something like anger uh, or a lot of little cards um, to that you want to constantly play. But we, I don't think, are going to come across many turns where we're going to have six more than six cards to play. Um, so, and, and even if we did, our cards are so powerful that if we were able to play more than six of them per turn, playing six of them is enough, to be honest. You know, like, so say if I was able to play, say if I drew, like, six of these cards and I was able to play a Demon Form and a Uppercut and a flame barrier, for example, and then I could have, I could play also a bash, a feel no pain, and a true grid or something like that. That's I, I don't need to play all those cards. That's that's a good enough turn already. So even in the in in the small circumstance where this is a, a card that'll hamper me or a relic that'll hamper me, it it doesn't even hamper me that much. And then the rest of the time, having four energy is just really really nice. So I'm gonna go with this. Okay, so yeah, that's. Um, the end of Act 2. I hope this is uh, helping in terms of deciding what cards you want and stuff. So if, I, if I'm going through my checklist, um, the first thing you cross off your list instantly is, do I have enough damage to get through Act 1 and Act 2 hallway fights? So you, you, you can see why I keep saying Act 2 hallway fights, because the Act 2 final boss, the champ, doesn't care about that early game damage. He does, does not, like, he scales so high that if you're doing 20-something damage to him in a turn, 
eight for two mana or something. He doesn't care. Um, so that's why I always say act two, uh, act two hallway fights instead of act two in general. So that obviously gets scratched off the list. So cards like, um, actually, I, you know, I don't think I have any of them. Uh, I got rid of anger, which was my card that got me through act one. But usually you would, if you're following this kind of strategy, you would have a wild strike in here, or you'd have a carnage, or you'd have the hemokinesis that I showed you earlier. You'd have it in there. Um, and it's fine. You just let it sit there. It's it's better than strikes. If you were ever in this situation where you got, had all your strikes gone and you had your defense gone, then maybe yeah, you start cutting the hemokinesis or whatever, but it just sits there. But you can strike it off the list. That doesn't matter anymore. So what does matter? Uh, mitigation. So do I have enough mitigation? Um, I have a decent amount of mitigation. Uh, I have decent amount of block. Um, I have some weak. Could use Definitely could use and I have a disarm, which is great. Would definitely pick up more weak. I would definitely pick up more disarms. Um, and I would pick up a few more block cards. But I have good mitigation in terms of my Reaper and my Birdface turn and my Burning Blood. It's getting me a lot of health. And um, so even if I'm not blocking perfectly every turn, I'm healing back up, which is great. I definitely had a few misplays in Act 2 with Reaper. Uh, so a much better player than me would be probably on full help by now. No problem. Um, so my mitigation is good. Uh, so then my damage. Uh, so now I'm going into Act 3 and the question I need to ask myself is, how is my scaling? And my scaling is pretty good. Uh, I have Demon Form. Um, and in flame so two cards that scale would i pick more strength yes probably um probably one more card uh you know i, I think it's time I'll, I'll upgrade in flame i think soon um if i got a spot weakness for example which gives you two strength if an enemy's attacking uh, if i got another in flame uh, i'd absolutely pick those cards um but I don't need too much strength. That's that's a, that's that's a, another huge aspect of this game. You just don't want to pick too much of what you already have. And I, I think I spoke about this a little bit earlier, uh, in terms of the inflames. You don't need like four inflames, you know. And right now we are pretty good strength scaling. I think we could use a little bit more, and that's it. And in terms of damage, with my strength scaling, I've an upgraded heavy blade, which is great. I have a sword boomerang, which absolutely will get upgraded. Um, uh, Immolate is. Uh, not this. I'll we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, so yeah, I'll probably pick up one or two more if I can, um, to try it, to just get that little bit of uh, to, to kind of coincide. So what I'm, and then uh, then sorry, the last thing is, do I have enough AOE? So with my emulate pickup, I am sorted. I'm, I'll upgrade emulate probably. Um, I need to upgrade a lot of cards actually, but I'll, yeah, I might prioritize emulate. That's a big upgrade, uh, just so I can get through Reptomancer uh, if I come across her and a few other uh, AOE fights. Um, of, uh, if our last Act 3 boss is Don Udeka, this gets a, a big upgrade, um, gets a bit more important. Um, so yeah, so going into Act 3, that's what I'll be looking for. Um, I'm kind of happy with my mitigation, so I'll be picking up a few more good block cards. Um, definitely prioritizing strength though, because strength will help with my damage and it will help with my mitigation in terms of Reaper. So that's kind of where I'm at with my deck. I honestly think I could probably take this deck into the act three boss and probably win um i think i think there's enough there going on so i'm going to be very very um picky with my choices now in act three uh, i don't feel like my deck has any massive weaknesses um it just needs a few little uh tweaks and that's how i'll be playing into act three so uh, i hope you join me then and uh, thanks so much for watching this act two run